Hey guys, Jamie here, and I'm back with another video. Well, I've never been here before to, with you guys. I've been here a million times, but I'm going to show you a tutorial of a world I've been about, but <laughs> I've been working on for a while. And this time I'm actually going with shaders. I've never seen this with shaders before. And this is made in 1.12.2. And with mods, of course, like these barrels don't exist in normal vanilla Minecraft, but I'm going to show you everything, well, as much as possible at least, and yeah. So let's get started. This is the plaza, the middle point pretty much of this town, though it isn't really the middle point. And there's a tree here, apparently. High tree. Uh, I, this, this place is big, it is not finished, if you can see there, but... It is quite big. Uh, I did show you guys in another, like in a community tab, about what it, this was. And you wanted, some wanted a tutorial and some wanted a building thing. <laughs> so I'm not going to go in and show you everything. Of course, and now I did. This is a mu 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 <laughs> music shop. Beautiful. But. I'm not going to go in because that will just take a million years and some of these aren't even like detailed inside so yeah uh, we'll start here because this is the main point pretty much over there is the plaza where we have the small markets and if we continue over here we have some small shops these are bigger though house shops like um, food uh, candy and toys the most important things in the world you mean i mean uh, so let's 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 go here or no let's go here this stops closer and that's just a little bit further so this is i have no idea what this is but i did redstone for this one look at this Whee! i'm proud of it it's it's not good but it, i'm proud of it that's all that matters. Here's the inn. Uh, as seen, like, there's nothing in here. We jump up here again. We go in and there's nothing here. As I said, I'm, I haven't really decorated everything. Uh, here's the inn. This is actually quite cool of building. Like, it looks so normal. And then you look... Oh. There's a huge tower attached to it. No, that's, that's not normal. And that's pretty much what everything is. And there's a little tower as well, but more of a chimney. But this is pretty much what the whole world is. Like, if you go into a world or go into a city and see these sort of things, then you'll be like, what's that doing here? That's not normal. And that's sort of the whole point of this. And there's a little guy there. Hi. Hi, Durs. Uh... So if we continue here, we come to the butcher shop, which is well, well, this is my favorite build so far. This is uh, my f first. I did this with a friend, so I started with this boat. This this is a ridiculous ridiculous build. There's a boat on top of a house. Why? I don't know. It's pointed towards the sea at least. Flash. I don't know what to call that, but let's go down. Oh wait. And yes, this decoration on the back I didn't do. It's beautiful though. My friend did it. Um, but let's go here. This is the next build. This is the last build as well, I think. No, like there's some over there that's supposed to be, but said I haven't finished it. And this is actually one of my favorites as well. It is, okay, I'm going to go inside for this one because it's just so cool. So, go in here, and this is obviously a potions place, like, I don't know who's going to live here, but there's someone who loves potions at least. And that matters. Oh, I nearly, I can't get out. <laughs> there. And we go up here, and there's like, more potions, more stuff, nothing more, like, too interesting. I walked into, okay. This isn't finished yet, <laughs> but if we go out here, I believe, 
I haven't been on this building for such a long time, for like a month or so. But we go up here, and we go all the way up, and ta-da! We come to the actual house. This is the only house in this place. Like, yeah, you could technically say that's a house, but that's, that's the real house. And why I absolutely love this so much is because it is such a strange shape of it. If you see, like, um, without the grass, it's just a blob of wood. And it came, when I actually started building this, it was so hard and I didn't know what to do. So I was like, this actually looks like a floating island. So I went with it and this is how it turned out and I'm absolutely in love with it. So, if we continue here, and I, I did show you guys this before on my hard, not hardcore, my 1.17 world, and I still love it. This is the first place, well, the first world I started with this with, and it just makes it so much more beautiful and bounded, I guess. Like, you're not supposed to go up here or, well, technically up here either. So, it's like, it's a path. Now, of course, this isn't finished, this place. Yes, there is a be it's a, there's a huge, big and huge together huge um, mountain here, but um, I haven't finished that, but I'm going with one of the last ones there. So if we continue this way, well, there's supposed to be a lot of buildings here, but I haven't gotten into that yet. This is the last building I made, I think. And this is actually detailed inside. It's beautiful. Uh, now these are the more normal ones. Quotation marks like this is medieval or buildings. Well, everything is medieval. Just these are more normal. You're not these. They fit in here. But then we have huge mushrooms in the middle of this. Yeah, uh, this was my first mushroom, by the way. I absolutely love it. Then second, and then uh, third over there, I believe. But I do actually, they, the houses I build here, the ones that are detailed inside, furnished, furniture and all that, have actually, do actually have a story to them, even though they're not supposed to have a story, I guess. Uh, like, there's a baby in here. If we go up here, there's a baby. Though, there's no actual baby. But, like, whoever lives here is obviously a single parent to a little child. And it's just so cute. And obviously, they care a lot because they have so much baby stuff. They even have... This is... This is the... So cute. This. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I have so much to show and so little time, so I'm just trying to go as fast as possible, but then like, uh, I want to show you these small stuff. And outside, there is a lot, a lot here, except this. And it's quite cute, like, the parent, whoever it is, is, is a painter, like me. And if we go downstairs, and yes, I know I can fly everywhere, but... Why would I? This is so beautiful to just walk through. You get out here, you have a lot of plants and a little table. I know this is oh, I know this isn't supposed to be like an outside thing. This is an end table for a bed, I guess. But instead it is cute enough to have it here. We have a cactus, which is dangerous. Be careful with that one. Um here we have some more stuff. It is like, it's it's a normal house, pretty much, and I absolutely love it. Because I'm not good at detailing with stuff like that. And then I actually do it, and it's so cute. Uh, so let's get on with this place. And yes, we have walked around. We are now going in the direction I wanted to go before. And we go to here. Which is a small house, again, and I have just noticed I haven't fixed this. Beautiful. 
and there's a little garden and this person whoever lives here loves flowers obviously they have flowers everywhere even a little little watering can uh, this is this is one of the cutest things <laughs> I didn't know really if this was a thing and then I found it I was like I've never used this before I should use it and I absolutely love it it fits so well in this person's place since they love flowers and there's some flowers next to the bench uh, anyway let's go inside <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to show inside but come on it's cute so and this is this is a little bit groundbreaking like it's all set up to be medieval beautiful and fancy like then go inside tv clock ac yes a ac unit i don't have stuff like that here so in my house or apartment but it's so you're supposed to be like oh it's medieval and fancy that's so cute and then you just get in and it's like modern and all that uh, which is on purpose uh, it does have a backstory to it and here we go inside I, I, absolutely, I absolutely love this uh, I did talk about just this the over there in the other building and that I wanted to have it in um, one of my builds of my hardcore world not hardcore 1.17 but I didn't do it because it just didn't fit, I guess. I can't remember. Either way, a lot of flowers. Uh, and if we go up here, there's just tower, like, it doesn't go anywhere. Oops. It just goes up here. But it's quite cute. You're all able to look out at the village. Or oh, kingdom, I guess it is. But I just love it. And as I said, like, the dome things, the flowers, it's so cute. And I wanted to have it in my greenhouse, but I just... I couldn't, so I didn't. Which is still sad. Now, let's get on... Uh, which way? We have two ways here. This way or this way? We, I guess we'll go this way, that stops soon after this. And here we have a wheat farm. And it's so peaceful, peaceful here. Just love it so much. So much, just wheat and everything. And it's like small paths going around. And this is just for aesthetics. Like it isn't for anything else. Just aesthetics. And I should probably fix that so it looks a little bit more beautiful. Uh, but let's go into the greenhouse, which is my favorite part. There was supposed to be bees here, but since I don't have a mod for bees or bees in this game, I just couldn't. We have even more wheat here, even more flowers. And inside. Uh, I really like this. It There is an annoying part to this though. There's water there. You can't really see it, but there's water there. So that's the only annoying part. Then we have flowers here, and even more flowers. There's, there's pretty much a wheat and flower shop. And this, I just love this part. <laughs> if our house has this, it just makes it so much beautiful. And even with shaders, it's even more cool. I love it. Uh, I don't know what this shaders pack is called. Um... But I'll check it out for you guys if you want to download it. But as I said, like, there's a ton of mushrooms, big mushrooms, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I do need to make more mushrooms, though, in the town itself. Like, over here, maybe a small one, like that one over there. And this is... I don't remember... Yeah, this is the part where I started using this part this way of making and I absolutely fa fell in love with it because I was just looking at this there was grass everywhere I was like oh my gosh what am I going to do this is not how it's supposed to look like but I found a way to fix it and I'm so happy with it and instead of wheat there's carrots delicious carrots 
which doesn't really make sense story wise. I do have a story a set I do have a story for this world. And again. But you know it's it's fine. But we walk here and there's even more and there's even flowers. And how I did this wasn't just placing down coarse dirt, I just used edit, world edit, turn the grass into wool and then turned it into grass and coarse dirt because I'm lazy but I think it looks really good. Well there's actually more steps to that than the other way but you know. I think this looks better because I always either use way too much coarse dirt or way too little so uh, let's get on with the, la or the last part of this road at least. Here we have the playground. This is just, it isn't anything special, it's a playground. Like, you have stuff for kids to climb on and to climb on, to slide down and all that. But these details are one of the most favorite ones here because usually when you go to a playground, uh, you see kids like, or you even remember when you yourself were a kid, when you put your like feet on the ground when swinging and just flung everywhere stuff. So I just decided to put that in as well as here. Wherever people are, or well, frequently are, it's coarse dirt. Yes. <laughs> uh, there isn't much more. What I did here though was use fa oak fences. I did use it over by the, that house right over there where I use fences in between leaves or under leaves and stuff like that to make it look like there are branches here but not too much. Don't If you want to use that trick don't use it too much. It won't, will not look good. But let's go on with our tour. Uh, as I said, this, this is going to be long. <laughs> uh, this is just a house, I guess. This is this house has nothing special to it. It's like a normal house, and I, even though it's normal looking and all that, and it's not really fancy looking, I absolutely love it. It's starting to rain. I absolutely love it either way. Uh, like there's gnomes here and the flamingo. And a little fountain. This is cute. We have even details in here. Um, yes. Oh, now we have actually go to the next part. Well, we should actually go to that one. And um, yes, I'm going to detail more here. I'm not finished. Um, I have actually been sick and I'm still sick. Even if you can't really hear it in my voice. So I haven't really been able to work much, but this is a normal house. It is not detailed inside. It isn't one of my favorites, but it is still like, it's different. This is not a house you should look like see in a city kingdom. But it's still cute, cool, I guess. Um. A kid in outside who's is screaming. Um, yes. Uh, let's fix that. Here we have some caravans, I guess, like marketplaces where they travel and all that. And I think it's really cool. I didn't have this idea myself. It was given to me by others uh, from out. Discord server, so thank you so much. I don't know if you're watching this, but they gave me this idea t together with building trees, which is quite obvious, but I just I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so we have some here, because this is the castle, obviously. So it's like, oh, we should probably sit it up here so the kings and queens and princes can come and, and princesses as well, I guess, can come and buy something because they have money. That makes sense. They have here's just stuff, a lot of food, 
Um, and then we go over here. And if you didn't see, look at this. I love this. Though I also hate it because this took such a long time. I'm just going to show you. This puzzle is huge and it goes around the whole. Yes, I haven't detailed it completely. But I've been working on this part for such a long time and then I finally finished it. And I was like, I'm not working on this part again. Never. Because I hated it. It was so boring. I literally could sit like for 20 minutes less maybe. I just work on it and I was like, no, no thanks. It was very hard. But this is my masterpiece. You have probably seen this. It is in every single like thing I make, the screenshots I make, show. Because this is a castle and I absolutely love it. There's a little garden here, a little pond. You can just sit down and rest, I guess. That's boring. And the, the trees here are actual, are, are different colors, yes. That has a different color as well and over there as well. But here's a blue tree. Who have seen a blue tree in their life? I don't think you can say that. But here we have the stables for horses. There are no horses here yet though. Um, some, what is it called? Chow hitching post. Yes, that is what it's called. Um, I don't know what to feel about this one though. Uh, it is very hard to say. It is cute, but it isn't very detailed and I don't know how to detail it, so... I don't know. But, because let's actually fly around it, because this is huge. Every single piece is actually detailed here on the outside, and I did the back as well. So, this was one of the hardest... Oh. <clears throat> I haven't said anything about uh, and nothing. God damn it! There's too many. Uh, I'll, I'll fix this later on. Um, but every single piece is detailed, pretty much, except that one. Apparently, this took such a long time, like a week to build the whole thing. Well, more even. And I absolutely love it. And yes, nothing is really detailed inside. Because I don't know if it's going to be shown inside. But I guess I can show you. Here's some details at least. We have guard armors. Uh, orchids. The throne, obviously. There's nothing over there. But here, this is the favorite part. A library, obviously. Uh, and we have like small study areas where you can read and all that. Uh, and paintings everywhere. Obviously. <laughs> um, I have nothing here yet. I know I haven't detailed too much, but I don't know where it's going to be shown. This may become. I'm, this is a private project of mine. Uh, and. I don't know if it's going to be shown on YouTube or if it isn't, but I don't know how it's going to be. And the detailing part inside is one of the most boring jobs for me, so I just wait a little bit. But if uh, you want to see more of my progress, you can obviously go to my Discord server because that's where I usually show my progress of this. And I absolutely love this. Oh wait, we asked. We forgot about this part. This is obviously the bridge. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it isn't the most fantastic part or anything, but it's cute. Like, obviously, you can't have boats here, but uh, maybe like swimming for kids so they don't drown or swim out into the ocean. But. It's it's really cool. I like this. Um, and obviously the the let's go. We also have a rainbow. I didn't make that. My friend did. 
But this mountain, while it's not much now, will become something in the future. And I'm so excited for this, but I'm also terrified because I have no idea how to actually design this. So I'm. that's why I haven't touched it yet. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this building so far. And if you have any ideas for details or the mountain, then please tell me because I, I'm, I'm scared <laughs> and too. It's just good to have some feedback and be like, hey, you could make this. And yes, I, <laughs> this was a mess of a video, but I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'm probably going to go in bed to bed now because I'm still six, six, six. No, I'm not six, I'm 19. I'm still sick and not feeling too well. So <laughs> even, as I said, it's not really affecting my throat. It's more just my whole body pretty much and i'm slowly got or very quickly starting to get very tired now so i'm going to head to bed sleep for the rest of the day and i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you all have an amazing day bye